hi guys so for this holiday glam tutorial i'm starting off with hydration and i am going in first with the samari good facial mist i'm following that up with the shiseido revitalizing essence and i particularly love this essence because it contains a high level of hyaluronic acid and amino acids that helps you know boost hydration and i also love this because it's suitable for all skin types and with everything that i do during skin prep by now you already know that i work a lot with my hands and i just you know massage that product everywhere pat it in so the skin like you know drinks a lot of it and i do not leave the neck out of the picture and then i'm going in with this activating you know first care serum and um, this also is a serum essence that i also love and that's because it's also suitable for all skin types quality boosts hydration but ultimately helps with the absorption of every other product that you'll be layering on top of this it kind of like just ultimately prepares the skin for anything that's you know you layer on top of it moving forward and um, that's one thing that you know makes this serum essence very unique and um, like with everything else too i don't i always apply that to my neck as well and then i'm going in with the clinic mustard surge eye cream and i'm just applying that underneath the eyes because the eye area needs love as well and i'm just massaging that on my ring finger all over now is lip balm and i'm just applying that on and lips this is a regular lip balm i got from shoppers drug but any drugstore should have this and this is now to moisture and this is the charlotte tuberry magic cream i can't believe i almost you know lost that <laughs> it's too expensive for it to spill or just you know mess up anyways i'm putting this all over the face and the magic cream is a very a very very um what's the word again it's very it's very rich so if you've got like dehydrated skin and dry skin or com and combination skin and you really want that thick cream it's a very thick cream and i really love this and um my my model glory has um combination skin that tends to be very dehydrated and dry during the winter season so she needs all the hydration and you know moisture she can get at this period this one is primer and it's from danisa Merrick. it's the universal shade applying that only on that season where she currently only was at the moment now this blurring balm is such an iconic product i feel like i always have in my kids it doesn't um only term blurs out texture it also like absorbs excess oil and sweat whilst maintaining hydration throughout the day it's just such a beautiful product and now i'm starting off with brows and i'm just you know trying to reduce the shine on the brows with powder and going in with this brow wax from patrick ta to keep the brow hair properly laid out and you know in form and then i'm just going in with the beauty line by didi pencil it's a nigerian brand and this is their brow gazing pencil and um, it's a universal dark brown pencil that just glides on very smooth it's not waxy or oil greasy or anything it's um, really one of my favorite brow pencils and because it's a universal dark brown shade I, I can pretty much use this on a wide you know range of skin tones as so long as it's under the um, woman of color you know range and then with brows for me i just follow um, I'm just following Glory's um, natural brow structure for this for this brow um, for today's tutorial I'm actually going for a very structured um, Defined brow. This is black opal stick foundations I don't know what shade that is, but it's just one of the stick foundations and I'm just using that to clean up You know the brows if you have not seen if you want a brow tutorial you will seen my um, Recent brow tutorial, please check it out and yeah, the brows are done now to complexion I am mixing the NARS soft matte and Macau and yummy skin from Danisa Merrick's in 18 G I'm going for a full coverage um, look and um, The yummy skin and NARS are both medium to full coverage foundations However, yummy skin being more radiant um, and NARS being more mattifying. The fusion of both of them is giving me the ba a balance of both worlds, which is what I prefer. And um, in terms of coverage as well, like I said, yeah, medium to full coverage. I didn't need to necessarily um, conceal or color correct. This The coverage was just perfect. It covered up all the imperfections that I wanted to cover adequately without an extra layer underneath or anything and it was just perfect perfect finish for me um perfect coverage perfect shade um and i'm applying that with the morphe um brush i don't know what particular number this is but i would put um 
the exact or precise shades and numbers of every product that I used for the tutorial in the description box for those who want a precise detail and um, I'm going in now with a black opal stick I don't know what shade this is <laughs> I'm sorry guys but I'm just using I, I think it should be hazelnut or nutmeg and I'm just using this particular color to um, shading um, I particularly do not necessarily contour I kind of like just um, create a kind of like just shading and then bronze to just bring back that dimension in my complexion and then further like bronze to intensify that sculpt and then to bring back warmth to the skin and that's what I'm gradually beginning to do with this cream product placing that in the area that I really want it to give that soft sculpt I'm just prepare the base for my powder bronzer later on and I'm using the same Morphe brush on the foundation to diffuse that color and then going in with a small angled brush now and the same black opal stick foundation to um, sculpt or contour the nose area to just bring back a little more shape or definition to that area as well and I blend that out with the brush first and then go in with a beauty blender to properly you know diffuse that color so that there are no harsh lines now I am going in with this Too Faced Bondage Spray um, Concealer in Butterscotch to brighten and conceal under the eye using this younger beauty um twin one brush i'm just strategically placing that product you know around um, the eyes i'm placing it in a way that it creates the illusion of a lift around the eyes and also like highlighting the areas where light naturally hit are the areas that i would naturally just highlight under the eyes the nose you know the chin and all that and then lately i have been using two concealers for you know my under eye concealing or brightening now you don't have to really have to do this but i do this when i want to not only brighten but also like conceal or cover and the concealer i'm using here is from younger beauty in the shade smc04 and it's very close to glory's um complexion now i always go in with um, a concealer that is very close to the client's skin tone um and then a brightening concealer that way i just like the effect better that way there is a seamless cover and um, it also brightens like i said you don't have to do this if your concealer does the old job for you but i just like this better and then now i'm just blending all that concealer you know out following that placement so that i do not you know scatter the sculpt or definition that i'm trying to create and i'm just using both sides of my beauty blender to properly you know diffuse or you know blend out any ash line and now i am setting with my charlotte tuberi airbrush powder in o2 and o3 and um i am the, the mixture of both of them just give me my desired brightness it has the right word to use and i'm just pressing that powder in you know to secure that concealer and for extra security i'm going in with the uda beauty easy bake in blondie and um this is just something i like to do i just like to layer on products especially when i know i can without um, disrupting the finish that i'm going for and with my under eye especially i like to set and then lightly bake um, I just I just just something I'm used to and I just like the effect better and then for blush I'm going in with rare beauties liquid blush in love and I am just applying that where I didn't necessarily powder and now I am um, setting and marrying all that um, cream and liquids with this compact powder from makeup forever and here I am moving on to eyes and applying pentally from Mac as my base and this is the new makeup by Mario um, ethereal palette and for the eyes, I honestly was just going with the flow. I just wanted to play around with the palette. I knew I wanted to do something shimmery, but I knew I, I knew I wanted to start off with like a matte base. So I went in first with the bottom left sub brown shade, and then going in now with that, you know, um, brighter neutral shade on the lid. Um, and I'm just pressing that color in. I kind of like this palette because it's soft and with the mixtures, um, the mixture of shimmer in it, it's. Um, that palette that can easily go from like soft glam to like you know a subtle but very um what's the word again sultry glam in like seconds it's a very beautiful palette the colors are in exceptionally like you know over the top but if you're someone who doesn't already have these colors in your kit i think it's a beautiful one to have and as you can see the the color payoff is really really good and here i'm just like intensifying the depth of that crease with the darker brown shade and just blending that out to just give it 
a little more depth and definition and i'm using the younger beauty brush to do so here i am applying a little color on the waterline and i used a dark brown pencil from nyx i'm preparing our lashes for falsies and i used um, the mac mascara to do so and the lashes i used for this look is from boj it's a nigerian brand and this last style was just perfect for this glam tutorial the fluffiness at the end just gave flattered glorious eyes which i absolutely loved now i'm tight lining the lash line with the beauty line by dd gel liner to kind of just clean up that area and moving on to lips i'm going in with ruby hill from mac and the pencil from kiss starting off with this pencil first for me when i do bold lips i try to go in with the pencil first kind of like to frame it out i like to make my work easy <laughs> so i just frame it out to create a boundary and to keep me in check that way i don't spill you know or run over or run outside that line that I've created, and here I'm just going in with the ruby, the I said the ruby, the ruby who <laughs> liquid lipstick now. And I knew I wanted to do a red, um, bold lip for this glam tutorial. It's the holidays, I wanted a pop of color on the lips, and um, red is that girl, red is classic, and ruby who is one classic, um, lipstick from MAC that I feel like every girl if you don't own one now you probably had you know owned one in the past and um, it's still it's still it's still a, it's still it's still a bombshell if you don't ask me myself so i i i decided to go in with the ruby ruby hole lipstick and as you can see i'm just carefully applying that lipstick within that frame that i have created now for me that's why i do this i use the pencil first some other people actually always apply the pencil first underneath the liquid lipstick also to intensify the payoff or the intensity of the lipstick and then um, also to create um to create um, to extend the wearability of the lipstick um yeah so um just letting you know just in case you're looking for more ways to actually wear your liquid lipstick or even wear your um, cream lipstick your pencil underneath can also like just intensify that color for you and also help with the wearability of your lipstick and also and not just you know to line or create some sort of dimension when you apply lipstick anyways back to this red lip um <laughs> we're trying to you know do and yeah still applying the ruby, ruby hoo with lips i do not rush the process just just when just the same way i do my eyeliner or i do my brows it's one of those things that you just really want to take your time to do and you just want to use the right you know brush to do so and as you can see the red shade was just beautiful on glory now to intensive to bronze i'm using this becca light it's called a light veil powder it's a very light finishing powder very soft and i'm just putting that around where i had them um, shaded in to kind of like just bring back once and i'm setting all that in with the morphe continuous spray and um, i wanted the lead to doing this on the cheek and then i went in with the tm essential cheek glazing apologetic and that's the finished look guys i hope you really enjoyed this tutorial let me know if you enjoyed it by leaving me a comment in the um comment section below and i will see you in my next one stay beautiful guys bye